Today we're going to do some measuring. We've got the 2005 Jeep Liberty in the shop today and if you are new here we've been bringing this back from what would have been the scrap pile. Had a cracked head sitting right up here. We rebuilt the top end on this, got new valves with the new head, etc. And it's ready to go, except there's a lot of things that we need to do to this. I'm Justin. We're going to do some springs today. Let's go. We got some Moog coil springs, 81057. Now these came from Rock Auto. They were not readily available from O'Reilly Auto Parts, so here we are. We're going to see if this raises the height. I've been having some trouble with this. I've got the headlights as low as they can go as far as being adjusted, but they're still shining kind of high. Oh, I don't know if it's something that I really need to worry about. They're just, they're right on the cusp of getting me flashed by people. Yeah, there's crystal. Let's go ahead and get a measurement from the bottom of our wheel well down to the ground. It's kind of a nice spring day today. The wind's blowing a little bit, but if you're outside, I mean, it feels like spring. It's not even spring. I shouldn't say it's a nice spring day. So we're gonna go right in the center of the tire, up against the pavement, and we are right at 31 and 3 eighths is what we're going with. I'm gonna check the other side real quick, be right back. The passenger side is at 31 and a half. So we got a little bit of difference going on. Well, we're sitting down here, got everything off that I need to, just about anyways. Here's your spring. I mean, it's not too tight in there, but it's tight enough to where I'm not gonna be able to get it out. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use, let's see, this is a 19. Might be off by one. Uh, yeah, I think it's actually an 18. I'm gonna grab an 18 wrench. I'll get this shock off. And then this should drop down just enough to where I can pull this out. Spring compressor, not really going to be necessary here. I don't believe anyways. All right, we'll try the 18 out. Yep, it's, it's an 18, right? Hmm? 17? Maybe it's a 17. Maybe it's standard. So we got that off. One thing I forgot to tell you is we got this jack sitting under here. It's just putting a little bit of up pressure on this to make sure that this doesn't just drop right out and that thing comes flying out at me. So let's get this bolt out. 15 on the nut side. Uh, was it? No. So that is all the way down and that should be enough. Yeah, we may just have to push on it a little bit, but it should come out here. Allegedly. Oh, don't make me take anything else off, please. What else we got to take off here? Shouldn't be anything. Can I squeeze it down with something? This probably isn't the way to go, but I don't know. I'm just shooting ideas out of my head right now. I mean, it's right there. What, which way do you want to come out here? One way or the other, let's make it happen. Oh, we're hitting on this. That'll be better. Now we can get what we need. Maybe. There we go. I had the jack underneath. Let's make sure we take this out just like this. Set it down. Let's compare the two. They're looking about the same. What do you guys see? Definitely a lot of build up under there.
That seat still looks good. New one going in. Definitely want to go from the bottom up here. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Yeah, this one seems to be a little bit, it's just a little bit taller. It's not settled. All right, so I did use this to get the install done. Any hosers, I think we're gonna be all right. We're right on where we need to be. Let's go ahead and jack this up a little bit. Let's get rid of our old spring. I'm just gonna line it up so we can get this bolt back in, hopefully. A little bit further. There we go. All right, so we're gonna torque this down. Your bottom shock absorber, bolt, and nut, torque spec is 80 foot-pounds. The top one right up here, it's gonna be 85. So I've got my torque wrench, and we're gonna do the torquing right on the nut itself. And then I'm gonna put the 18 socket, if I need it, and see. Oh, it's going to torque up, I think, all by itself. How's everybody doing today? There we go. There's 80. I'm just going to put these lug nuts on, but I'm not going to torque them down. I'll tighten them up because I actually got to do a brake job on the back of this. We got a new rotor on the back of this side right here, but we don't have a new brake caliper. And this one specifically is leaking. So we've got a little bit more work to do. You know how it goes. Okay, there we go. It's loose, it's down, let's get a measurement. Right in the middle, same air pressure. Remember, these are gonna have to settle. So it's not gonna be the final number. We were at 31 and 3 eighths. We're now at 32. So that's a big difference right there. If it settles at 31 and a half, that'd be great. Somewhere around there. This one over here on the passenger side, this was at 31 and a half. Let's see if we raise this one. Let's replace that spring. I'm not gonna show it to you, but we're gonna see what it measures at the very end with both springs replaced. Be right back. All right, I'm back. We got the last spring on for the rear. 31 and a half. I don't, I didn't check the air pressure on these. So, uh, you know, I don't know if the air pressure would cause that much of a difference between the two sides. This one is now just above 32. The other one over there was 32 right on. This is just above 32 inches. This is actually about, yeah, 32 inches and an eighth. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep track of this. We're gonna put new tires on this. It's coming up and we'll have them all inflated to the proper air pressure. I just don't have a whole lot of time to sit here and do that tonight. But I tell you what, I really appreciate you guys and gals. Thanks so much for being here. We're going to keep working on this old 2005 Jeep Liberty. It's a good SUV, truck, diesel, good stuff. I hope you had a good weekend. It's Super Bowl Sunday right now. Game started probably about 20 minutes ago. And I'm not watching it because I got work to do. And uh, that's really about it. I'm going to go see what Mama Bear is up to. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.